Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showing you how to make muscles in Maple Story in 2021. So the first and I guess the most RNG way of making muscles is doing the Tower of Oz. The reason I say do Tower of Oz is you get these ring boxes once you reach floor 41 or 42. And in these ring boxes, you can get some of the most expensive rings inside auction house so let me show you what the most expensive ring is from the tower of oz and that is a ring of restraint so as you can see here three rings sold for close to 100 bill and this actually even reached 100 bill and this is coming from tower of oz and of course it's not easy to get something like this there's definitely a lot of rng and work that goes into it and there's some sort of a uh, little entry prequest kind of thing where you have to unlock some pill slots and I'm still in the middle of doing that but I will be farming these rings eventually and even if you don't get these rings you guys can also get other rings that people crave such as a weapon jump ring which does fetch quite a bit of a, a muscle count as well like this one that sells for 30 something bill and same thing for luck and int and you know all the other ones as well so these definitely are very highly sought after and if you guys do get lucky with it and you're you guys are able to get one of these rings you guys are pretty much set for a good amount of time after so another way to make mesos is doing golops and this is way more uh I should say way less RNG compared to the Tower of Oz. The Tower of Oz is very heavy RNG because you can get very uh, crappy stuff, whereas Golux you're almost guaranteed something good. So you can farm Golux on your mules and just get carried on Golux runs and just loot the coins afterwards. Since coins are instant, you guys can basically get some of the most endgame items and exclusive items such as a superior Golux pendant, superior Golux ring, and reinforced Golux ring. Now I wouldn't recommend spending your Golux coins on anything outside of uh, reinforce ring, superior ring, superior pendant, and uh, possibly Golux scrolls depending on your world. But yeah, those are the main items I would go for. Earrings are not really that sought after because they drop from the boss itself whereas the pendants and rings they don't really drop and also the belt they drop from the boss itself so definitely I don't suggest getting them and as of right now the making of this video the Golux items sell for let's see I think it's close to one bill uh, see earrings aren't worth much let me put in ring so it's, yeah it's close to one bill 900 mil and same thing for the Golux pendants, so just check whatever sells for more. So this sells for like 30 something mil more, so just get superior Golux pendant and just list it in auction house. And you're pretty much set. This is way less RNG than Tower of Oz. Now another way to make mesos is to basically run daily bossing and weekly bossing. So what I mean is, you know, normal Zakum, Magnus, uh, Hilla, also, all the weekly bossing like Lucid, Will, uh, Normal Empress, Hard Magnus, Chaos Papulatus. And once you do that, you guys can have uh, not only weekly reward points that you guys can claim from here, which basically introduces you to items inside the reward point shop, but you also are able to sell the crystals to this guy. And the crystals, depending on which one it is, can sell for something like 100 mil. If it's a V Hilla crystal and you solo it, it sells for 100 mil. I don't have one because I sold all of them already. And this guy takes uh, 60 per week, resets each uh, Wednesday UTC time. So that's a good way of making muscles as well. It's on the smaller amount list, but it does add up quite a bit. I think each week I get close to 800 mil from crystal. But that's because I solo uh, most of the harder bosses like Behala, uh, Gloom, and Lucid and stuff like that. Now another way to make mesos is Commercy Runs. Commercy Runs is similar to 
Golux in that you just get items from the shop such as uh, Sweetwater Tattoo, Sweetwater Monocle, and these fetch for quite a bit as well. And Sweetwater Pendant sometimes fetch for quite a bit, but more times than not, I think Tattoo and Monocle are the more expensive ones and uh, the more muscle per coin count compared to dependent but check what's what what's like in your world but yeah um you just talk to her uh there's also some sort of pre-quest that goes into it and you just have to do the pre-quest uh you enter trade and these bot there's bosses that basically drop cubes and sometimes if you get really lucky you can get something like a sweet water pendant i'm mean, sorry not sweet water pendant a sweet water katara and also a Sweetwater Glove, I think is pretty decent amount, but Sweetwater Kantara is endgame, so it's definitely very sought after. And you guys can also move to the Commercy PQ, and this is where you gather a total of three party members, including yourself. You talk to her, and she basically takes you to a, a, a party quest Commercy, and you just kill mobs there. And you basically have a chance of getting uh, Meister Cubes, Master Craftsman Cubes, similar to solo runs. And also uh, Sweetwater items like Sweetwater Gloves, Sweetwater Katara. And of course, you also get the uh, the Narrows for trading into the Sweetwater Tattoo and Monaco. Uh, pretty bare bone basic. And also the daily bossing drops cubes as well, similar to Commercy. Although the cube rates will depend on how many or how much drop rate you have on your character, but it's definitely worth considering. Now, the next option that I suggest is doing meso farming. Now, meso farming requires a lot of investment, but it is your safest bet because you always will have constant mesos. Um, for more information, you can definitely check out my meso farming video, which I'll link below in the description. So what you want to do is uh, you guys will have pretty high barrier to entry if you guys don't have I guess any muscle gear to start with so let me show you what gear I'm talking about in case you guys don't know uh, filter by muscle so these are muscle gears you see how there's a like muscle obtained and I think it caps out a hundred percent so you want to get a hundred percent and then just start farming muscles while you're training, uh, I think this is a very uh, efficient way to get mesos. It takes a lot of work for sure, but you get, depending on your class, you get a pretty good amount of meso uh, each time you train. So let me say, for example, I go train uh, my Kaiser or my Zero, I make basically 400 mil just from looting muscles per hour and that's profit. So that's paying for frenzy service, paying for the two times drop coupon, paying for uh, wealth acquisition potion which you're also going to need if you're going to meso farm. But you know all things considered it's a very good way to make fast mesos compared to the other ones I mentioned because the other ones are more RNG and it does take a bit of time and effort but you know muscle farming it's like everybody trains so you might as well muscle farm as you're training right so it's definitely a good way to make muscles and you also want the uh, legion coupons so yeah those are my top five ways to make muscles uh hopefully you guys enjoy this video and found it helpful make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video